What's going on, everybody? Welcome inside the Mayo Media Network. I am Matt Best, and it's time for your Sunday Best Bets. Before we dive into things, a few housekeeping notes for you. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment, let us know what your favorite Sunday Best Bet is. Could be any of these three bets, could be any other bet you find across the slate, just let us know what it is and we'll have a chat about it. If you're listening to us on any of our audio feeds, go ahead, rate, review, five stars, you know the drill there, and Pat's always giving away 100 bucks. so make sure you leave your Twitter handle, your email address, so Pat can get in and chat with you. Just three things I like here that have a bit of value on this Sunday. Nothing too crazy. Didn't want to go and give you minus 200 or minus 300 or anything crazier than that. Wanted to give you an underdog and two plays that I think will come through into fruition. We've got first, let's talk about a hockey game. Let's talk about the Flames versus the Leafs. We've got the Flames against the Toronto Maple Leafs. The money line for the Leafs, minus 155. The Flames, plus 135. The Leafs, 24 10 and 3 the flames 16 19 and 3 we have a total of 6 and we have the leafs against the spread 13 and 24 and the flames 16 and 22 now what i like here before i dive into why i like the leafs money line at minus 155 and it's simply because just on the eye test here the leafs look like the way better team obviously anyone who's watched these two teams knows that for sure uh zach hyman getting bumped up back onto that top line with matthews and marner just creates so much more space and opportunity for those two guys to go to work. Uh, there was a segment on one of the hockey shows, not here at the Mayo Media Network, but somewhere else. If you live in Canada, you know, where they were talking about Zach Hyman being on Team Canada's roster. And someone said 100%. I can guarantee you that's 100% not going to happen. Zach Hyman will not make Team Canada, but he does make the Toronto Maple Leafs a heck of a lot better when he's up on that first line. Matthew's wrist is starting to look better too after that little injury scare he had that he played through. He's getting shots on net again. I think he had eight shots in his last game and he's just looking lethal. You could tell that his shot was slightly off. It wasn't coming off his stick as hard, but he looks close to 100% right now. It does worry me slightly that Hutchinson is in net, but if we get the Hutch from early in the season against the Flames and against the Oilers where he stood on his head, then we're looking good here. And I think he can find his form a tiny bit here against a struggling Flames team. The Flames, 3-7-0 over their last 10 games, averaging just 2.2 goals going into this kind of stupid trade deadline of sellers here but I like the Leafs minus 155 give me that there now another hockey game I want to talk about let's go to the Coyotes and the Ducks Coyotes money line is what I like here uh, minus 125 is what you'll get it at at some books I've seen it actually at minus 120 at somewhere else uh, over the last games the Coyotes have won five games and the two they did drop were to the Colorado Avalanche they did beat the Avs once throughout there uh, they're coming off a 4-2 win against the Ducks 5-2 and two against the Ducks all season. In the goalie matchup, you're probably going to see, because I am recording this the night before, you're probably going to see Aiden Hill against Ryan Miller. Miller, .882 save percentage and a 3.60 goals against. Um, I, I like the Ducks in a few years from now. I don't like them now. I think uh, what they're doing with Trevor Zegers is a total joke, just not letting him play. Just let, let the kid play. You have nothing to play for really at this point let Zegers play because that kid is a talent the Yotes at minus 125 minus 120 at some spots I think this number should be higher I'm all in on that now I promised you an underdog and I'm going to give you an underdog let's go to the Detroit Tigers who are 2-0 to start the season beating the Cleveland Indians who a lot of people are very high on for some reason the Tigers you can get them at plus 115 the tribes offense just doesn't look like it's there at all whatsoever. Just four runs over their last two games. It's Aaron Savale against Tarek Skubal. And now both of these guys had very good spring trainings. The only difference is Skubal's has lasted the whole spring training where Savali looked phenomenal to start, and then he just got shelled in his last two outings. Kubal stuff is just disgusting. Upper 90s fastball, throws in a bunch of junk here and there. Uh, I like the Tigers to keep rolling. Plus 115 is what I like there. So to recap, we've got the Coyotes money line, minus 125. The Tigers money line, plus 115. The Leafs money line, minus 155. No shot props are out yet at the time of recording, but I do like Zachy Hyman, 2.5, if you can find that places. Uh, I think that's my go-to right now. You'll probably get plus money on that as well at two and a half shots. If he's one and a half shots, it'll be minus money, but go ahead and take that as well. I, I'm all in on Zach Hyman being back up on that top line. That'll do it for Sunday Best Bets here on the Mayo Media Network with me, Matt Best. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Good luck, and we'll see you next Sunday.